In my 6,000 hours of ARC, I have watched and encountered players building in caves, rat holes, cliff sides, and even in the sky. But rarely do you ever see people build within the ocean, especially on PvP servers. And that's exactly what I intend to do today. Throughout this series, I must only build on the back of an underwater platform saddle and do my best to survive the elements of the ocean and the PvP community. Real quick, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe, it means a lot. Alright, so we're just doing a cheeky little note run, just a quick one. Basically, I need to get as high of a level as possible so we can go out and tame a plesiosaur, and then we can use that platform saddle to start building our base. Obviously, as I explained in the intro, I can't really build anywhere else but the plesiosaur, but, you know, I need to place some stuff down so we can actually go and tame it, like a smithy and stuff. So, I'm gonna be a little bit, uh, loose on that rule. But yeah, a couple of quick things I just wanted to talk about just in the intro while I'm doing the note run. The first is that basically I can't thank you guys enough for the support on the channel lately. We hit 40,000 subscribers the other day and that's honestly just incredible to me. I can't thank you guys enough. So yeah, just absolute massive thanks. Really, really appreciate it. It's always been my dream to try and hit 100,000 subscribers. Any help towards that would be absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, I'm so grateful that, you know, you guys take the time out of your day to watch my videos. Another quick thing that I just wanted to mention is that I have been a little bit ill these past few days and uh, my voice is not 100% yet, but hopefully it's not too annoying to listen to. I've definitely been getting a lot better, so yeah, I kind of just decided this morning I was going to hop on and uh, yeah, start out this new series idea. I've got plans to uh, be playing in a tribe soon on a different server wipe, but oh. Yeah, for this series I'm just going to, oh this is so annoying actually, because it's going to mess up my no run. So yeah, as I was saying before, I'm going to be joining a tribe pretty soon, but I just wanted to make this series, you know, it's just, you know, spend a couple of days playing solo on Ark, just trying to survive on the back of a plesiosaur. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see where it takes me. I'm going to shut up now and do the snow run though, because yeah, we're going to be here all day. Alright, it definitely took me long enough, but I finally finished doing a note run. We're not even level 100, we're level 89, so that's, it's pretty pathetic in my opinion, but oh well. It is what it is, I died a couple of times doing the note run, so, you know, it could be a lot worse. But I have tamed myself up a couple of PTs and I've found a little spot I want to build up in so I can get some metal going. As I said before, the challenge that I'm doing is basically I can only build on a Plesio platform saddle. So uh, yeah, I'm breaking the rules a little bit here, but I've got to farm metal somehow. So yeah, this is just a, it's a small deviation from the rules that I outlined uh, at the start, but you know, we're just going to skip past it. But yeah, once we have uh, farmed up a little bit of metal, what I'll do is I'll head straight over to Ragnarok, I think. I think that's the best place to tame them. And uh, yeah, I'll get myself a Plesiosaur. Man, the Parasaur just saved his life then, I'm telling you. Yeah, we got him. Just in time. Alright, I seriously doubt he's got parachutes. Yeah, we got him. Awesome. Alright, let's check what he has. Hopefully he's got some good stuff on him. Level 74. Just a drop kit. Kind of dogged me to do that, but I swear like 20 people have done it to me this morning, so felt good to do a little bit of it back. Also, just real quick, my ARC servers are wiping on June 3rd, so literally this week. They're trio servers and I'll be playing them, so if you want to make sure you get in a video, that's your best chance. I'll leave the link to join them in the description. Okay, back to the video. But uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys real quick the little rat hole that I'm going to farm some metal in. It's just at the back of the uh, floating lava island on the center. I believe this is it here. Yeah, it is. How do I get in again? Oh, it's here. All right, yeah. Yeah, this is what I meant to uh, meant to do. So uh, yeah, this is the rat hole. I'm sure you guys know about this. It's pretty common. Definitely not a great spot to build in, but should be a pretty. it should be a pretty nice spot to just, you know, stay hidden in the early game and, and farm some basic things up. There's definitely not a lot of space in here, but we're, we're going to have to make it work. Can I make a triangle? Yeah, I can. I don't think I'm going to be able to place uh, stone foundations into the wall, but we'll give it a go. Let's see. Oh yeah, we can. I didn't think we'd be able to. I reckon if we just chuck one like that, and then we'll just get some ceilings going off it. That should be that should be perfect. All right, there we go. Put a bunch of forges down. So yeah, that's coming together pretty nicely. I think I probably should have put this a little bit further down because it's it's quite obvious that there's a base in here now. But uh, she'll be right. But uh, yeah, time to go and farm some metal. Alright, we've got the metal going and I just crafted up a smithy. I actually think I have everything I need to make a fabricator as well, so I'll put that down in just a second. 
But uh, yeah, where am I gonna put the smithy? Maybe if I put the if I chuck the fab. Oh, I reckon if I put the fabricator just around here. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Don't really know why I'm taking it so seriously, but I'm quite big on uh, interior design. All right, what am I missing for a fabricator? Is it just metal? I'm pretty sure it would be because we've got the crystal, got the oil, got the cementing paste, got the spark powder. So yeah. All right, we should have enough metal for a fabricator. Fingers crossed. Yeah, we do. Awesome. I actually just had a thought. I probably don't need to put the fabricator down in this little starter base. Like, we're literally just doing it uh, for the saddle. And I'm pretty sure we can make the saddle in uh, the smithy. Yeah, we can. So, I don't really need to place this fabricator here. I can just place it on the platform saddle once we get that going. So, uh, yeah, nice. I guess I'll just quickly go and upload this. And then what I'll do is I'll head straight over to whatever map's the easiest one to tame plesiosaurs. And I'll go and tame one. Never tamed one before ever, so this is definitely going to be quite interesting. Might have to do a little bit of research. Alright, so this is kind of what I'm working with. I'm not going to lie, plesiosaurs are so much more speedy than I thought they were. These, this guy's got some serious pace on him. I was about to say this guy's got some serious legs on him, but it's not really the case. This man's got some serious flippers on him. But yeah, I've actually never ever seen anyone build a legit base on the back of one of these things. Like, not on a YouTube video, not in my ARC experience. I've just never ever encountered it, so I'm going to have to do a fair bit of experimenting. But I definitely think surviving solo on the back of here is going to be possible. I just want to quickly check, uh, real quick, is how the forge situation is looking, because in my head I can't get around if this will actually work on the back of these things. And if they don't, that's kind of an issue. Uh, but let's do a little bit of testing, so... Looks like we can light the fire, because uh, it's technically not underwater, but I wonder if I bring the plesio under, if it's going to uh, turn off. That would make logical sense, wouldn't it? Let's have a look. It kind of looks like it's still going. Ah, uh, okay, I see. So it did, in fact, turn off after a few seconds. Alright, so it kind of looks like the forge stays on for a good uh, 30 seconds or so. So it looks like I can just, you know, dip my head underwater and stuff when I'm traveling and the forge just should stay on. But that's a little bit weird. But uh, yeah, that's really going to make doing metal runs a little bit of a pain. I mean, do I even, do, what, what's the point of me even doing a metal run? Like, I can't put turrets on the back of this thing. You'll probably remember that I farmed a bunch of metal on center. Unfortunately, that map in this cluster is getting, like, 255 at the moment, so it's getting DDoSed. Can't really go over there and get that metal out at the moment, which sucks. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to farm a little bit of metal over here. And, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to farm up a kit, and then I'm going to go over and look for some raids. Maybe on Extinction, I don't know yet. Kind of digging my new home, though. Alright, just really, really quick, I know I said I was just about to start scouting, and I am. I'm seconds away from going and doing that. I just wanted to show you guys the base that I've got going. It's a pretty interesting design, in my opinion. Um, there's actually a lot more space on the back of Plesiosaur platform saddles than I expected. So, we have got a fair amount of stuff going on at the top here. But yeah, it's nothing too special at all. I just wanted to quickly show you guys before we got into some raids. Really is coming along quite well though in my opinion. I am liking it quite a bit. But yeah, we've got one detonator and we can make, I believe, 10 C4. So that should hopefully be enough for now. I believe we can also make a shotgun. So I think I'm going to make one of those. And then any leftover gunpowder that we have, I'll just turn into ammo. Also, another thing that I wanted to show you guys real quick is that I actually found a little cave to store this guy just while I'm offline or off the server. I feel like it's not a very good idea to just leave it in the open water in case another creature comes and kills it. Because uh, it's not like a raft or anything, like a megalodon could come and just destroy my base. And uh, yeah, I really don't feel like getting PvE'd. Unfortunately though, when I bring it underwater, all of this stuff is going to turn off, but it's not the end of the world. But uh, yeah, if I take my base underwater here, as you can see, there's actually a little cave just down here. It's kind of like a cave, it's kind of like an underwater cove. I'm not too sure what to call it. But I think if we just leave the plesiosaur in here, it should be pretty safe from, uh, you know, underwater dinos, underwater creatures, even from people scouting. And uh, yeah, I might be wrong, but it actually looks like the generator is staying online, which is super nice. Uh, the forges have unfortunately turned off though. But yeah, I'm just going to leave this guy here for now. And what I'm going to do is go and scout some bases. So I'll cut back if I can find anything. <laughs> it's been about two minutes since I stopped recording and I've actually found a base I can potentially raid. The guys online, I actually just saw him run into this base. 
uh, which is why I started recording. So we'll see what we can do here. Because it's kind of the first day, we sort of are raiding for profit, but you know, getting into some PvP would obviously be quite nice. All right, it's just a 1c4 type of thing, so I'm just gonna put it there and see what we can get from this. Oh, we actually got the guy as well, that's awesome. That's definitely what we were hoping for. We'll wait for this dust to clear and we'll see what he's got. Hopefully he's got some metal for us. Oh, there are a couple of people in here. All right, nothing. Nothing. Uh, Smithy is locked, unfortunately. Refining forges. Actually, a little bit of metal, which is super nice. That's definitely what we were hoping for. Uh, I'm just going to go into this, get into the smithy with the sword. Oh, we've got a bag. Ooh, this is actually kind of profitable. We've got a bunch of ammo here, which is super nice. I think you can just get this from a drop, but we got 178 metal as well. Some charcoal. That Arthur Pleura saddle is actually kind of nice as well, because making those is always a pain. I actually want to check this uh, underwater cave real quick as well. Okay, I have found another base that I actually want to blow into. And uh, yeah, I know what you guys are thinking. Why am I only raiding stone bases? I mean, it is episode one, so we do have to start small, especially because I don't really have much. And uh, as you can see, when I'm jumping on the PT, there seems to be a couple of bodies in there. So I am quite curious to know what they've got. And you know, we've got like 9c4 left, so we can hit a bunch more bases after this as well. Alright, thankfully we actually managed to destroy all the structures inside with that C4 so we don't have to break anything manually. But uh, yeah, just going to quickly... Actually, you know what? I can't be bothered waiting for the dust to clear. Let's just have a look. Hide armor. Not a good start. I think I definitely wasted a C4 here. Okay, we actually got a pistol, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, I don't really need any of this. Do they have any metal is what I want to know. Not really. They didn't even have these forges turned on. Yeah, this one was turned on. Alright, I definitely need to find a bigger base to raid, but I've kind of found something a little bit sneaky just in the cliff here, which I'm kind of curious about. I really do want to check this one out because it looks like it's got a fabricator in there. It doesn't look like there's a body though, so it might be an empty base that someone's moved on from. I kind of have to check it out though. What I want to try and do is like throw the C4 in there. Did I manage to do that? I did. Okay, awesome. So hopefully I shouldn't get too damaged sitting back here. Yeah, awesome. I don't think we actually managed to blow up the fabricator or anything, but hopefully we got some stuff. Let's have a look. Yeah, no, no body at all. Looks like the smithy was empty. Looks like a couple, yeah, it looks like the space is empty. Super disappointing. I need to find something good. I know it's coming. I can feel it. <laughs> One of these bases is going to have something. All right, so I have found a base that I actually want to try and raid. Um, it's right here. As you can see, they've got some wyverns though, so this might be a little bit more tricky. I'm going to have to go as fast as humanly possible. Oh man, what's happening to the C4? No! Alright, one C4 there. Did we get the bed? Did we get the bed? That's what I want to know. Yeah, we did, we did, we did. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, I think we should be all good to, to loot this now. I wasn't recording when I picked that guy initially, but uh, yeah, these guys, as you can see, have got a couple of wyverns, so it was a little bit more of a risky raid. I really apologize if you cannot see much, by the way. I am like Gamma 5 at the moment, so I'm not too sure why it's so dark. Let's check the smithy. They actually had a fabricator. 600 metal. That's an amazing find. Not gonna lie, this early on in the game, that is super helpful. Uh, I guess this kind of, it might be worth maybe getting into some of these. Should I just place a C4? I'm, I'm really tempted to just place a C4. Oh my god, that is actually so much profit, Jesus. That much charcoal is crazy. Alright, we're taking all of this. We'll dump it back at the base a little bit later. But yeah, I'm actually super happy with that raid. Alright, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really have not got into any major raids, but it is a little bit difficult. Oh, there's a loot drop, actually. Let me uh, open this and then I'll end the episode. But uh, yeah, we definitely need to go and uh, raid some bigger bases in the next episode. So that's definitely on the... Oh wow, that's absolutely pointless. Yeah, we definitely need to go and raid some bigger bases in the next episode. This episode was kind of just me getting situated. Just setting up the base, which in itself is kind of a... It's a bit of a mission. So yeah, I'll do some proper scouting off camera. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.